It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's from their Overworks Brewery Project Barrel Aging kind of sour facility they've got up there in Scotland. And this is their Cosmic Crush Raspberry Sour coming in at 4.5% ABV. I'm happy I have my this beer in my hands because I picked it up in Morrison's. Um, picked it up myself in Morrison's. It's on the shelf. I hope it's good. If it's good, then we've technically got some really good sour beer on the supermarket shelves, very accessible. I think it was no more than £2.50, something like this, for this bottle, which is terrific value for money. For money. I'm just praying it's going to be good from Brewdog. I've not read any reviews. I've not watched any videos about this beer. I'm just going into it blind, see what we get. Fingers crossed, let's go. I've got to, I was going to say, I'm not going to say nothing so far, but I have to, I'm reviewing the beer. I could have done with a little bit more smoke on the opening. Seemed like a bit of a cap come off, nothing happened. Um, let's, let's have a look. Let's not judge too much before we get into the beer. The colour is terrific. Have a listen. Sour beer, generally what it does, if you pour it relatively quickly, the head will dissipate very quickly on you. I stick it into the microphone so you can hear it, but it's a lovely pink coloured beer. Pinky, purple, hazy looking beer, uh, good levels of carbonation, even though we didn't have much of a smoke on the opening, but never mind. Um, shall we get the aroma? I'm smiling. <laughs> hey, I'm smiling. Oh, it's raspberries, blackcurrant, cherry. It smells like a lambic. This, I mean, what is it called? Cosmic Crush Raspberry Sour. Yes. I've been to many Belgian breweries in my time. What, what was the one I went to and they handed us out loads of Lambic beer? Oh, pardon me. Uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the brewery now. We were in there about four years ago in Belgium. And if you handed me a glass of this in Belgium, I would say, yeah, this smells like a really good raspberry lambic funky fruity zesty horse blanket please be good let's get in Yes, 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 stone the crows, stone the crows, what a fantastic beer from Brewdog. Woo hoo hoo. Yes. Um, I'm so happy. I love sour beer. From proper sour breweries, you know, the proper Belgian ones. But this, I kind of quietly, I was quietly optimistic with this as soon as I poured it out. And it's all just, my wishes have all come true. I can now, within a mile and a half of my house, drive down to my local Morrison's, pick up loads of Lambic beer, sour beer, whatever brew dog want to call it. I'm going to call this a lamb. This is definitely kind of a Lambic style beer, a fruit Lambic. I can pick up a really good Lambic beer for a relatively good price, watch the weather forecast in the morning. If it's going to be a sunny day, I'm off to buy three of these. A couple of IPAs, maybe a couple of stouts, light the barbecue, get the smoker going. 
boom, there's your day there, sorted, sorted. I'm so pleased this is a good beer. I love variety in beer. Um, I love barbecuing. I'm gonna, this is gonna be the year for me of smoking. No, no puffy, puffy, smoky, smoky, but, but I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna teach myself how to smoke. I bought a smoker last year, put it on my drive, um, but the van was on the drive, so I never really used it. I've sold the van, got shot of the van, don't need that anymore. So it's now technically a patio, great big patio area out in my garden with the, the smoker out there. And I've got a variety of beer now. There's some good Stout, Stout Morrisons. There's some good IPAs. There's some good Lambics. Um, yeah, happy, happy days. Uh, and that's always been my dream of beer. Let me let me let me plant that in my mind a minute. That dream for beer, and we'll come back to that because I'm sure you want to know more about the flavours of the beer. It's got that slight kind of soy sauce kind of touch of balsamic vinegar maybe um, lots of raspberry coming through um, sour horse blankety extremely refreshing carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth boom fantastic beer really really pleased with it um, so going back very quickly to my story is that yeah I've always wanted this kind of to come together where I don't have to travel too far to get really good beer when I first got into beer, properly, in 2010, 10 years ago, when I started a YouTube channel, I mean, Brewdog, Punk IPA was a scarcity in the supermarkets. Uh, it was always exciting to get it. Um, got hold of it, happy. But then but then you'd have some Brewdog Punk IPA, uh, and then what else would you buy? You'd buy some bitters to go with it all you know some of the three for five pound ales which were after drinking punk ipa was a bit like ooh, it was a bit boring you know the old gold nails that used to dominate the supermarket shelves but but fast forward 10 years and and the sours sours in morrison's and imperial stouts and ipas and double ipas and and all sorts of different porters and amazing choice, very amazing value for money as well, which is great. It doesn't really smack your purse strings too much. I'm really happy. What do brew dogs say about this beer? Lots of, I think this beer is going to be around for a long time because there's lots of different languages lots of different languages for the ingredients on the beer so it's going to be distributed all around the world i imagine um just it's been brewed and bottled at balma casey commercial park in e l ellen in scotland um okay so overworks cosmic crush range at 100 percent mixed culture scottish sour ales aged in fooders and fermented on the whole fruit available on planet earth they offer a cosmos of juicy, funky discovery and a whole, sorry, a wormhole to the world of sour beer. Uh, redder than the red planet, aromas of citric, malic and lactic acidity, acidity juice to the outer limits and lightly tanned, tannic, what's the matter with me tonight, on the palate with barnyard funky undertones dry with light vinous red wine notes a crisp and refreshing finale cosmic crush raspberry strastus spheric sour yes happy 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 really happy with that um rating just terrific just terrific stuff, 9 out of 10, stone the crows, 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.